I've been subscribed to Illumigrate for over a year now, and every now and then they will bring me a box that is just disappointing. And today, I got one of those boxes. All right, so I just got my Illumigrate box. It's been a very long week, and this is my reward for getting through it. I am very excited. Let me cut the thing, and let's see what's inside. I forgot which month this was for. Oh. So this is the October 2022 box, and the theme is from Beyond Death. This is lovely. I can't wait to see what's inside. Oh, by the way, this is the spoiler card. If you can and would like to read what's inside, I shall see the items as I open them. The first thing that we get is this fabric item. And is it a towel? Oh no, it's a blanket. <gasps> Strange the Dreamer. I love this book. Oh, it's so nice. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it's impossible to show you all of it on camera. So I will try to add a photo somewhere around here of the blanket itself. It's very warm. It seems to be, no, it's just one-sided. Very, very soft. Hmm nice i'm not a big fan of these colors for a blanket but to be honest uh what other colors could strange the dreamer possibly have now let's see who made it moths among dreamers blanket designed by yoshi yoshitani wrap up warm this winter season with this cozy blanket featuring multiple elements from the widely loved strange the dreamer i do like this one though i wish that the colors weren't these but still i love it it's very nice <laughs> Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Did you get stuck in the bag? <laughs> you got stuck in the bag, didn't you? What are we gonna do now? Hmm? Are you gonna wear it all day? <laughs> okay, so next thing is a set. So this is a set of a coffee cup and a saucer and let's open them and see. They add these every now and then in some boxes. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so this is another cup I got a few months ago. Look at these cups. See, my problem with these cups is that they're using these wraparound full-scale pictures that in order to see all of them, you have to turn the cup around. So at any point, no matter which part of the cup you're looking at, you're never seeing the full photo, the full picture rather. And so these cups never look beautiful, no matter which side you're looking at them from. It just ruins the appearance of these cups and makes them look tacky, in my opinion. So why, instead of using these very sharply cut wraparound images, you're not using a smaller motif with a repeating pattern around these cups first to make them seem like a set, but also to make them look a little bit more elegant because this is an elegant shape and you're slapping this gigantic image around them. It's just, it's not pretty. That's, that's what I'm saying. And look, taste is subjective, but I've already gotten three cups from this series and I don't find single one of them to be beautiful. Now the saucer is slightly better, but it's still nothing to write home about. I don't know. It may be like that. It looks somewhat okay, but to me, this is tacky. So what's gonna happen is these are gonna go back into their boxes and I'm gonna ask my family and friends if somebody wants them. Oh, by the way, this is Underworld Teacup and Saucer designed by Nal Grant. Our final Greek mythology inspired teacup, thank God, features none other than the king and queen of the underworld, Hades and Persephone, whose love certainly transcends death itself. Uh, I don't know about that. And I just want to underline, I don't think the artist is untalented. I think this is a beautiful picture. I just don't think it's suited for this sort of cup. And then we only have one other item. I feel like there should be more. Oh, cable tidy set. This is actually useful. This is a set of three cable tidy bands, wraps. I don't know what to call these. They have these little clasps. So you wrap them around your cables and keep them tidy and together. I can show you the design properly. This is the first one. And then we have those two here as well. So this is a nice, useful item though. To be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of the design on these personal taste. This is Blood and Death Cable Ties. 
Designed by Stacy McAvoy Kant, keep your cables tied away with these handy cable ties inspired by the ravenous dark. So yeah. Oh, okay, and there's supposed to be an Into the Borderlands papercraft kit, but I do not see it in the box. Oh, okay, so it turns out that there was supposed to be a paper craft kit in this box, but because of some supply issues or some such, the people in Europe and UK will have to wait until the next month. To be honest with you, I don't particularly care about paper craft kits. I usually either give them to my niece or send them straight to the recycling. And that leaves only the book of the month. Let's see what that is. And we have... Ta-da! The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew. I have never heard of this, but it looks quite pretty with its sprayed and stenciled edges. I don't know if you can see them nicely. There you go. And on the back it says, a paranormal thriller laced with twists and revelations that will stop your heart. This is by Aidan Thomas, which is a New York Times bestselling author of Cemetery Boys. Ooh, we have some nice end pages. Lovely. And we have an alternative cover under the dust jacket, if you're looking for it. Very nice art indeed. And there's some nice foiling on the front cover and the spine of the naked hardback. The book is also signed by the author. Cool, let's see what the book is about. Delaney always talked to the dark, but now the dark talks back. Delaney Myers Petrov is tired of being seen as fragile just because she's deaf. So when she's accepted into the prestigious program at Good Bowl University that trains students to slip between parallel worlds, she's excited for the chance to prove herself. But her semester gets off to a rocky start when she has an awkward encounter with a pretentious upperclassman whom she has every intention of keeping her distance from. Colton Price has been ordered to keep far away from the new girl and the voices that call to her from the shadows, but the pool of her proves impossible to ignore it, and he can't help but be fascinated by her unusual talents. Okay, why do you do this? Why do you always do this? With this synopsis, you manage to single-handedly make me hate the main character and bore me to death. You mean to tell me that this teenager is tired of what people caring? Is that it? I hate it when authors do this, when they frame their main characters as victim to their loved ones caring for them. And look, I understand that this sort of feelings are very common with young people, but could you please not frame it like this in your synopsis? Could we stop with this tired trope? Could it be that she achieves things without setting out to prove something? Could it be that she does this so they don't worry because she doesn't want them to, because she is okay? Not this, ooh, I will prove them wrong. Come on. And then the brooding upperclassman who just couldn't keep away from her. I get it, it is an attractive trope, but could you please not frame it like this in your synopsis? Because it's the most tired thing I have ever read. So I don't know if this book is good. It is very possible that it is. I have never read from the author. I don't know. But the way that you frame it in your synopsis, I have negative desire to read it now. And so yeah, I don't know what to tell you. It's pretty though. So this has been the Illumicrate box for October. And I think it's safe to say that this has been the most disappointing box I have gotten by them so far. I sure hope you enjoyed this miserable rant. And if you'd like to see my opinion on 10 of the Illumicrate books that I had received during the past year, check out this video.